do 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 working on my stream ba, ba, ba. bullet core are you here hello bullet core hello quicksilver hello hello hi how's it going how's everybody doing stream is starting let's see click this button what do you think yep that button just got clicked 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 okay give everybody a second to start get my uh my American America runs on Dunkin' Coffee. Get that going in my system. Mm. Ethan, what's going on? Um, and JK, what's up? What's up? Michael Matthews, how's it going? Got some really good news for everybody. Um, and some uh, interesting news for sure. Right off the bat, once I get done saying some hellos. So stick around for that. Um, it's going to be good news. Good, good news. And let's see, Jeff Rummel, uh, Treasure Guy, Anthony, hello, Vincent, what's up? Uh, BK in the house, Patriot Allen, he says, greetings all. Um, first of all, let's, uh, let's get some stuff out of the way. Hold on. Let's get some stuff out of the way. Special Instructor, or Inspector, <laughs> Special Inspector, what's going on? Kid Coin Dealer, hello, and Tomorrow's Coins, hi. So there was some controversy with a uh, bar out there, and I want to show my bar. This bar has proved to be pure to me many times. Uh, there was another video by Silver Joker that was put out trying to basically say that uh, all the bars are fine, no big deal. And i tell you what, in that video... Um, it was missing a lot of the points. Um, one of the bars that I got in particular from Jenny, um, a viewer of mine, was really, really not showing good. No matter how I put it on this machine, it would not be good. Um, that bar is now in the hands of Silver Gold Bull, right? So I want to give them a shout out, but I also want to show you something real quick with this bar. Because a lot of people had some confusion, uh, which, you know, between the different videos, unfortunately. And I don't know if we're going to be able to see this on my camera. Hopefully, hold on, let me move this. Uh, over let's try this can you see I can't even see the display on mine let's see uh, uh, uh. oh this camera is great oh come on nobody can see what that says on the display all right it just shows, it shows like a light let me see if I can zoom in on it hold on one second um, you know still working on this whole camera thing trying to figure everything out uh, you see my picks on my 50 ounce bars, 96%, thumbs down, no, hello Speg, hello TLC, talking bullion, what's up buddy? Let's see if I can adjust this. If not, oh, what's this right here, hold on a second, hold on, okay. Yeah, I don't see the, I, on, in my eyes I can see everything on that display, but um, you know on this I can't see it. Well, I'll just tell you this, so... Funnily enough, if that's not a word, I apologize. I know it's not funnily. Oddly enough, no matter where I put my bar on my machine, it shows it to be pure, right? No matter what. And then somebody says, oh, it's because of the plastic. If you look at the other video by um, Joker, it was because of the plastic. That's why. So I was like, okay, fine. Let me take it out of the plastic and do that. Took it out of the plastic, and you can see that it's actually opened up because I you know, wanted to do that and wanted to test that for myself. Took it out of the plastic, put it all over the machine. Same exact thing. Shows pure, no problem. I can take the small wand, put it all over it. Pure, no problem. That's my bar. This is a great bar, no problems. It shows it to be great. However, with Jenny's bar, no matter how I did it, when, when she had it in the plastic on two different machines, showed an error. Uh, when she had it out of the plastic, showed an error. Once she sent it to me, no matter where I put it, um, the bar, the wand, whatever, uh, the wands all over it, it would be um, and pure according to the machine right now good news good news silver and gold bull has the actual bar right now and uh, I want to read you the exact email word for word this is good news this is good news hold on one second let me find it um, it says um, hi spec I'm getting all the info sorted out Jenny's bar tested point nine 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 seven so triple nine fine right that's that's very good that's according to their XRF machine. Um, I will have a detailed report for you shortly. I've spoken with the head of Silvertown Mint, and they are looking into why their bars are having an issue with the Sigma tester. I will have the information to you as soon as I organize my thoughts and get the assay report. So that's great, great news that uh, Silver Gold Bull was able to go to Silvertown. They're asking them what's going on. Um, you know, why uh, the Sigma is showing incorrect, basically, um, showing impure for their bars. 
because like I said in the follow-up video, it's very important that we have a machine as the, the you know, buyers, the customers that we can use to test this stuff that we feel confident with because uh, many of our local places are using that same machine and they have to test our stuff with that machine. So we need to have everything working correctly, right? And if you have some bars that are showing good and some bars that are showing bad, that is no good for us as collectors, okay? No good. So, that's that. Did Speg drop a monster box on his foot? What do you mean? On my on my finger? Can you see my finger right there? That's from pouring silver and uh, doing some hammering. Uh, and I smashed my finger about six times now. So that's what that is, if that's what you're asking. So, uh, I want to clear the air with that. So, silver and gold bull... Um, I spoke to them on the phone, um, the uh, CEO of the company, really, really good guy. I'm going to put a link down in the description for Silver and Gold Bull. Definitely check them out. They're good people. They really want to help us, and I got nothing but um, positive things to say about them. I do have other bars that are coming to me that are showing as problematic, so I'm going to test those out too and try to figure it out. I would like to buy one and have it melted just to get that fire assay done and uh, and do that. So so we can get um, confirmation on every level. But this is great. Silvertown's looking into it. Silver Gold Bull's on our side. Um, you know, this is great. This is great. Uh, the Wall Street Silver guys are still jerks, but <laughs> what can I say about that? <laughs> if, if they had just left that post up with me asking my question, if anybody's having a problem, this would have never gone anywhere. You know what I mean? We could have all figured it out right then and there. But, you know, uh, jerks. Uh, what is the best tester and is there a tester that can test 90% silver eagles rounds and bars? So um, I've never had this kind of problem with the Sigma before, you know, as far as just bars. I've never seen bars. Some bars work and some bars not. So that's the cheapest option we have. But unfortunately, um, you know, there's some issues with it here and there. And I think we're finding one of those issues potentially now. Something inside of that bar is causing the reading to be goofy. And uh, I don't know what else to say beyond that. It's, it's causing issues, something inside that bar, whether it's little cracks, air bubbles, or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, did you really think they would say it tested anything but pure? I just think they had a problem with a few bars. Um, you know, and I don't know, Deep Stacker. I don't know. And actually, I don't know if my phone's going to be able to show you guys something, but let's see if you can see this right here. Let's see if that pops up for you. Um, this right here, hopefully you can see it. It says, it's a picture on Instagram of a person who pours their own silver. And if you can see what it says right there, it says failed assay. And what the person has to do because they're over in Europe and they have different um, rules and laws about, um, you know, all this stuff uh, as far as getting it uh, tested and, and making sure that people get the right thing that they're supposed to get. And then they hallmark it, blah, 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 right? So uh, if you're a silver pourer, you have to send this stuff off to an assay office where they can hallmark it and say, yep, that's exactly what it's supposed to be. So anyways, they got one back for the first time ever, they said, and it was a failed assay. So there was some sort of um, contamination in the silver that caused their assay to be impure. Um, Kind of interesting. And this just happened. So uh, when people say, oh, it's impossible. No, it is not impossible. It happens. And um, that's why we have checks and balances. So uh, that's, you know, something something really recent that happened. Really recent. Um, what did somebody say here? Let's see. Uh, someone should have used the Sigma Pro in her bar. So Billy, she has a Sigma Metalytics Pro. And she has the Sigma Metal X, the same version that I have. So she has she has both machines. So she spent about four thousand plus dollars, I'm sure, on these two machines right now. And both of those machines were giving her this bad reading. And then also, um, she's telling me that she went to a uh, local shop and had it tested with their XRF machine, saying it was ninety seven percent pure. So. You know, um, I don't believe that Silver Gold Bull is telling us anything but the truth. I'm sure they use their XRF machine right now on her bar, and they're telling us it says it's, you know, 9997. And uh, I, I, I believe them, you know, but something is happening somewhere in the bar that um, as collectors, as people in this hobby, we got to find out. So uh, that's all the information I have right now. Silver Gold Bull is going to reach out to me. Hopefully I can do some kind of phone call with them 
and uh, let you all hear that. I would love for you to to be able to engage with them a little bit and, and talk to them. So um, that will all be coming up. Uh, whatever I can do, whatever information I can get for you guys, because like I said, a small time hobbyist, that's what we have. Um, you know, raise your hand here, raise your hand. If you're going to go buy a $30,000 XRF machine that you have to have like a license for, and, uh, you have to have like a little class taken and, you know, there's potential to spill out radiation onto you. <laughs> I mean, um, I don't, I don't want to mess around with that stuff and the price of it. And then if something breaks down on that thing, some of the repairs are, you know, like $7,000 for some of like the, the lens repairs and things like that. That's really difficult for the average hobbyist to, uh, to justify. Um, even in the average uh, coin shop, you know, that's working on such small margins of profit, they can't get that stuff. Anyways, I do want to talk about this though. If you all have a minute and uh, somebody asked, is there a live auction? Um, I might do a few buy it now pieces. If you guys want to do that um, of my poured silver, if you, if you want to do that. So that's up to you guys. You guys are going to be in control today. You're going to tell me what to do, but I really want to look at this 2021 collector's guide that came in from the U S mint. Cause there's some cool stuff in here for sure. Um, also, Jenny gave me this Jenny, uh, who sent me that, that bar that was testing impure on her, on both of her machines and um, her XRF. You know, she sent me this. She didn't have to do this, but she sent me a little gift. And, uh, you know, I've been going through a lot, going through a lot. Uh, the Wall Street Silver guys are are uh, upset. They uh, they said they want to talk to all my sponsors and, and tell them that I'm a criminal and have them do a little cancel culture on me and blah, blah, blah. Um, they're really saying that. And uh, listen, <laughs> I don't know what sponsors are going to get out of me. I don't think I have any sponsors to my knowledge. But, um, you know, to me, that stuff is so ridiculous, so ridiculous. Anyways, um, <laughs> she says, she gave me this coin. It says right here, it says, keep the faith. Um, uh, what does it say? I have fought a good fight. And, uh, you know, in more ways than one, this, uh, this little coin right here that she sent me, uh, really just, you know, touched a, touched a spot in my heart. You know what I mean? Um, so... I, I do appreciate her. I know my camera, this camera in particular, is not the greatest when it goes to showing things off, but um, it's a nice little, nice little piece, nice little piece, and it means a lot to me, Jenny. So thank you very much for sending that to me. And uh, hey, I'll fight the fight for you guys. I'll take the hate. It's no big deal, and I'll lose my sponsors. I'm still, like I said, not sure which, what sponsors I have, but uh, be prepared, be prepared, like I am, for them all to be gone, whichever sponsors they're talking about. Anyways, yeah, cancel culture, man. It's everywhere now, isn't it? Um, that's a sucks, Beg. We uh, apes should be united. Hey, everybody should be united, right? We should be here for the same cause and just to make sure that, that our stuff is legit, that we should be able to ask some questions if we need to and not be, uh, you know, muted so that those questions could never be asked. That's crazy to me. Um, sounds like blackmail to me. Yeah, yeah. They can they can shove it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, hey, what's up, Speg? Hey, everyone. Hey, Mr. Billionaire. Uh, TLC New Collector here. How do we get uh, one of those booklets? So I probably am getting this booklet right here from the U.S. Men because I've ordered stuff from them before. So that's probably why it's coming to me, I would imagine. It's an actually a nice little booklet right here. They send you some kind of little odds and ends once in a while. Um... Left side story. I don't get why Wall Street Silver would hate on you for writing the community of impure silver. I, writing the community of impure silver. That's, that's my goal, right? To, to try to figure this out. Um, as you've seen from my videos, I've had many fake items that I've cut open and there's been like, you know, brass inside or something. So it exists out there. Um, and I showed you that picture right now on my phone of of a uh, hobbyist who had to send their stuff to get um, assayed and it came back as impure. Uh, you know, things happen. And I just want to make sure that it doesn't happen that, uh, you know, we can we can fix things and we can get to the bottom of things. Uh, let's see. Hi from Canada. Hi, Mike. How's it going? Um, I wanted to buy some gold today, but my truck was failing, so I spent the money on it. Well, sometimes you got to fix your truck, buddy. Mark, new subscriber here. Love your videos. I have learned a lot. Thanks for your great content. Thanks, buddy. I'm not, listen, I'm in no way a genius when it comes to this stuff. I'm not the end all be all smartest guy when it comes to coins and precious metals by any means whatsoever. Uh, but uh, I, I align myself with many people in our hobby and uh, our lifestyle that are professionals, that are um, industry, you know, leaders. Um, and 
that's that's where I am. That's what I, I don't mind going and talking to those people and getting you information and and taking the heat, so to speak, if I need to. So that's where I am. Um, Empire Precious Metal says, Speggy, if the bars come back is legit, what will you say? Oops, my bad. I'm not being a jerk. Legitimately asking. Curious how it all turns out. Uh, well, according to what I am getting from uh, Silver Gold Bull, they are legit. They're triple nine fine silver. I don't know what I would say. If you want me to say, oops, my bad, I guess I can. I'm just giving the information that's presented to me. You know what I mean? I never said that the bars were fake. I'm just giving the information that I have, um, Stormy. So uh, that's all I can do, right, is give information. Um, you know, people are saying, hey, you should apologize. I'm not sure what I'm apologizing for. You know, my post was originally deleted, and I gave information about everything that I saw, and no more, no less. I didn't give any kind of like, well, in my belief, what's going on is the bar is made out of plastic. You know, I didn't try to do any lies, anything like that. Um, it is what it is, you know. So I don't, I don't know what else I can do. Uh, Yo, spectacular, keep on rocking, brother. Yes, sir. Crystal Kim, hi. How are you? Um, is a silver magnetic slide tester good for what? So it is, it is. The silver magnetic slide is really good for sure. But um, would the silver magnetic slide have worked on silver that instead of it being triple nine pure was only nine nine seven or nine seven? Either way, we would not have noticed a difference on that. That would have not made a difference. Hold on one second. I got to tell the kids that I love them. All right. Love you. Love you. Love you more. I'm going to bed early. Love you. I love you more. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Um, that trust is good. Fact checking is best. Yeah, man. We'd have to, we have to get to the bottom of things. And, you know, like, should we just keep quiet about things and not talk about um, why our machine that we have is not uh, testing properly? What could be going on? Um, should we be quiet about those things and just let it be? I don't think so. That's crazy to me. That is crazy. So that's that. Um, anyways, let's talk about this real quick. Uh, 2021 American Eagle silver proof and uncirculated coins. As you can see, they look a little different, don't they? So there will be the new silver eagle that we're going to get uh, accustomed to from here on out, or at least for a little while. So be ready for that. This right here is the proof. And uh, this is one that I recommend getting. I always try to get the proof uh, year after year of the silver eagle because, man, the proof eagle is a pretty, pretty coin. Um, I usually had them sitting right here to show you, but I don't have them right now. But I will be getting this. I know they're kind of expensive. My goodness. Um, you got the different, uh, you got the P, you got the S and the W. I might get all three. I don't know. Just uh, just for fun. What is this one? One ounce silver reverse proof two coin set designer edition. What is that, huh? That'll be interesting, I bet you. That one right there. So something to consider right there. What do you think about that new design? I think they could have done a different design, to be honest with you, but uh, maybe I'm just a hater. Maybe I'm just a hater. <laughs> uh, Jeff Brown. Jeff Brown! What up, man? Uh, plumber Stacker, is he in the house? What up, Plumber? Let's see. Uh, not that bad reverse. I was worried. You know, it's it's it doesn't look as bad as I uh, originally was thinking it was going to look. Maybe it'll grow on us, right? Maybe it'll grow on us even more. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Billy says it's terrible. Brian says it's terrible. Uh, TLC would be my first proof, so kind of excited about potentially buying one. Uh, I like the old design better. Leroy, I do not like a reverse at all. Empire Precious Metals, thank you for the super chat. Once again, Stormy Speg, thoughts on Gold Liberty with the uh, bucking horse. I'm like, meh. Um, I think it's actually in here, so we're, we'll get to that one. We'll get to that one. And actually, I think it's okay. I'm kind of into it a little bit. Um, hate how the wing is cut off. Yeah, right. Kind of, kind of sad that you have uh, the eagle cut out of the picture a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. One of the beauties of like like a Walking Liberty half dollar is that you see the entire thing. You know, uh, same thing with like a, a piece dollar. You get to see the whole eagle. I mean, just about all the times you see the entire eagle. You don't see pieces cut off. So, I mean, imagine if, if Liberty right here, if they had like cut her hand off, if, if that's all you saw, or maybe like you cut like the one leg off or something, you know, it wouldn't be as cool, right? So, I don't know. We'll know when it actually gets into our hands. We'll make uh, some real determinations then. Here is the new reverse of the gold eagle. So, 
Uh, what do you think about that one? Let's talk about that just for a minute. Huh? 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 It's got the head right there. So talk about cutting off the eagle, right? You pretty much just have a decapitated uh, eagle just on your coin now. That's all you get is the head. I don't know. What do you think about that? It's not so bad, right? But is it better than the old design? Tell me what you think about that one. Uh, Beto likes it. Hmm. I like this booklet, the mint set. Joshua, actually, you know what? I totally agree. This is actually a really nice little booklet to look at for, for collectors. So I hope they keep doing that. Look at my thumb. Look how bad that looks right there. Smashing my fingers, pouring silver. You know that Empire Precious Metals right here that's in the chat actually told me. He was, he was like, you should do that. And I had been thinking about it for a while, but he was that last nail in the coffin just to seal the deal. So I could thank him for my sore thumb. Ah, it's a weird eyeball. This one right here, it's a weird eyeball. Yeah, it's kind of a weird eyeball, isn't it? Kind of spooky looking, like it makes it, makes it look like the uh, the things from uh, the Dark Crystal, remember that? Remember those like scary looking vulture things? The And then the one guy was always mad that uh, the Chamberlain kept on making that noise. He's like, Chamberlain! And then he started like fighting them and stuff and then they, they took their clothes off, which got real weird when their clothes came off and they were just like little skinny vultures. Anybody? No? Dark Crystal? Nobody? <laughs> okay. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> Skeksis. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Quicksilver saved me there. I was looking uh, I was looking silly. <laughs> Mr. Rip Rider likes the old one better. Okay. I got you, man. I got you. Not that I'm a fan of the um, old style Gold Eagle. I say old style now, which is like literally this year, but um, I don't know. I'll get one. I'll get one. Why not, right? Just to see. Eventually. Trial by stone, says John Ruck. That's right, buddy. That's right. Maybe the eye is in the safety feature. Oh, yeah, a little safety feature eyeball right there. Maybe, maybe there's a microchip in there made by Bill Gates. You know? Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe his wife found out, and that's why they're no longer together. Maybe, you think? Huh? Uh, Empire Precious Metals with a three-time super chat in a row. Whoa, man, that's crazy. Thank you so much. Um, I was. Speg pours some good stuff. Speaking of which, send me my pours, question mark, LOL, Dark Crystal, Frank Oz, and Jim Henson, LOL. Love it. Uh, yeah, man, I tried to watch the Dark Crystal on Netflix. Couldn't get into it. Wasn't the same, right? Am I wrong? Uh, silver 150 cents per ounce. Who feels rich today? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sometimes I like for silver to go way down, not up. Uh, another super chat. Jeez, the horseshoe crab creatures scare me as a kid. Yeah, yeah, they were pretty scary. Anyway, so that's that. Um, 2021, man. 2021. Changing things, huh? Changing things. A turkey would be better. Whoa, a turkey on a coin? Okay. I like it. Jeff Brown. Hold on. Jeff Brown, my heart. It's beating so fast. Jeff Brown. Keep it teal, he says. Not even real. Jeff Brown wants me to keep it teal. One thing I'm going to do for you, Jeff Brown, with that $50 over the top rope super chat. Thank you so much, man. My heart's pounding. Um, wow. Thank you. Uh, let me give you a heart for that, Jeff Brown. Whoa. I will keep it teal. Not not even real. Just keep it teal. Thank you so much, man. I greatly appreciate it. That's going to go to helping the, the channel for sure. Um, what is this one, right? Let's 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 focus again, man. My heart's pounding. I'm having a having a, a grabber. You ever have a grabber before? Where your heart starts pounding. You got to grab it. You're like, oh, is this the one? No, just kidding. For those people who might have had a grabber in here, I know no no hard feelings. No no. Uh... Oh, geez, Empire Precious Metals with the the four nines fine super chat. Oh, geez, crimson. Keep it crimson, he says. Oh, Stormy, thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much. You tell everybody that you've changed your name. Have you done that? You changed your name. Empire Precious Metals used to be the uh, the Stormtrooper auctions. Now it's the Empire Precious Metals auction. So go check him out. He runs a really, really fun auction. You guys will like it. I guarantee you. And thank you so much for the four nines fine super chat. <laughs> it was really nice, everybody. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that, guys. You're being way too generous. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. Wall Street Silver is going to see that I'm getting all this money, and they're going to sue me and take it away. So, <laughs> Anyways, let's get focus. Let's focus as unfocused as this camera is. Uh, 2021 First Amendment to the United States Constitution Platinum Proof Coin Freedom of Religion. I like the idea. I like the idea that they're going to do like a probably a series. Um, in fact, I think it is a series if I read this. Uh, 
Yes, this five-year series, 21 to 28, 25, will reflect the five freedoms in the First Amendment. So, listen, I'm really excited about that second coin in the series, if you know what I'm talking about, huh? A little gun talk right there on the coins. I'm really curious what they're going to do. So this will be pretty, pretty cool. Um, don't you think? So first is the freedom of religion. Or are they just going to stay with, like, maybe, like, like within the First Amendment only? Are they going to have, like, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of the press? Because I really don't care about the freedom of the press so much, to be honest with you. I didn't, didn't care about that in the last couple of years. But anyways, uh, that's very interesting. Very cool. Wish it wasn't platinum. Wish there was a silver version just because platinum's so expensive. And uh, look at the premium on that, huh? About a $400 premium. Whew. But anyways, that's it's cool. It's cool that they're doing, they're doing something. The greatest design in the world? No, not the greatest design. What do you guys think? Not for me in particular, but a cool thought. Let's go with that. Uh, do not bend over for them. Oh, trust me, I'm not bending over for no one. Nobody. Uh, not even my job, you know what I mean? Like, the man, you know what I mean? Like, I... I don't bend over for people, man. You guys are killing me with these super chats, man. You're just, you're setting my heart ablaze. Uh, Shark Tooth Stacker, $10. Thank you very much. Maybe I'll be a sponsor, at least for a day. Listen, they might come for you. They might come for you there, uh, Shark Tooth. They might be like, listen, uh, old spectacular, you know what I mean? He's, he's a criminal. I don't know why they said I'm a criminal, but whatever, you know. But thank you very much, Shark Tooth. I greatly appreciate the support, man. From all you guys, man. You guys have been nothing but great. Seriously, through this whole thing. Really appreciate it. Um, if you think I did something wrong, like, you know, I, pff, tell me. Tell me I did something wrong, but I'm just trying to get the word out. and trying to fix things in the hobby, for sure. Eventually, I believe we'll have a better machine for us that will be, you know, cheaper and just better for everybody. You know, uh, that's what I'm hoping for. And I hope that people see that there's a problem that we have and want a little bit more money in their pocket and they're smart and they can make something like that for our hobby because we need it. We're desperate for something better, for sure. Plumber Stacker with a 9.99 Super Chat 2. Thank you, man. What is that emoji right there? A little guy doing little guy stuff? I don't know what that is, but yes, thank you so much. Appreciate you, Plumber. Man, you guys are great tonight. Just throwing money at me. I don't know. What what did I do? Is my, are my clothes on? Hold on a minute. My clothes are on. Why are you guys giving me money? <laughs> Thank you so much. Put a smile on my, my little speg face. Wow. And $50 from Jeff Brown. Jeez. Uh, for the come get us Jim Fun. <laughs> Listen, I think that this is what should happen. Jim, Jeff Brown, thank you again, man, for the $50. You guys are you guys are really changing the direction of this stream, are you not? I had planned on doing things totally different, but instead I'm just going to read off Super Chats. Wow. Thank you, Jeff, man. Okay, enough, though, Jeff. Come on. You got, Listen, I know you guys got stimulus money. You guys are just wasting it right now. Buy some silver and gold. You guys are nuts. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I think that Jim Lewis and I should get together in person. Wouldn't you all love to see this? He and I in person and just talk. Talk about what he's trying to do and talk about what I'm trying to do. And uh, he lives close enough. He lives in Orlando. In fact, I actually know what city he lives in. Um, you know, beyond Orlando, I know the exact city. So uh, wouldn't it be cool, cool for us to, to get together and sit down and have some Panera bread together? You know, he and I. Um, he has to pay for his own meal though. I mean, that's all I'll say about that, but I'm not paying for him. Anyways, <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. But thank you guys very much. And then Silver Husky with a 999 super chat. Thank you, Silver Husky. Ah, uh, how about a live interview with Speg and Metal Merchant? Listen, I'm down to do live interviews with anybody, anybody. Um, I wish it was like how it was back in the day. Thank you again, Silver Husky, where you could do, um, like a easier, interview like right through youtube they used to have this kind of an option that you can just do uh like multiple people in like a, a like a live show and it was all ran through youtube that was so convenient that was so convenient but um you guys should uh stream imagine the fireworks yeah yeah that would be really cool i would love to do that love it uh anyways let's hold on let's Focus one second, one second away from the Super Chats and go right to this. Thank you guys very much. You guys are stellar. Stellar. Um, the Palladium series right here, right? Let's talk about that for a second. Beautiful coin. This is this is an example right here of a beautiful coin. They did a great job by using the reusing the Mercury design. And then this side right here is just 
flawless. Reminds me a lot, of course, about the half dollar, right? The walk or the uh, yeah, the walking lib half dollar. Reminds me a lot about that, right? A lot about that, but still a beautiful coin. The only problem is, um, whew, they made it in palladium. That's the only problem. And palladium has been rocking these last few years. So $3,300 if you want to go ahead and get yourself in on one of those little pieces. That's a struggle. And what also stinks is they increased the uh, the mintage limit by quite a bit on those, which made them less of a um, interesting design, in my opinion. Or less, at least less of an interesting coin being so, you know, out there. You can just get them easily. They're not rare by any means. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think about that one in the chat. Uh, Eric, E space, R space, I space, K space, with a $20 super chat. Thank you very much. He said, F Wall Street sellouts, Fing premium pumpers. The rest of us will stack when they move on to the next trend. <sighs> yeah, I can't, I can't fully agree with what they are trying to accomplish with... Um, with treating, in my opinion, now this is my opinion, with treating silver like a stock that's going to go up, 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 up. These guys, you see them, they have an entire wall of silver they built in there. You know what I mean? Like different people have just so much silver. Like this one guy has stacked a wall of silver in his room. Um, he has so much of it. And it's because they've sold other investments and they pushed it all into silver to try to like get these prices to go up. And What's going to happen with those people? They're not going to keep that their entire life. They're not really preserving their wealth. Their goal is to sell that stuff eventually and then move on to another investment that's prosperous, right? And when that happens, people that bought the silver at the top are going to be suffering because those people are going to sell and those people that you know bought silver and stuff at the top are going to be left holding the bag. And that's unfortunate for what we're trying to do, I think, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. But... Uh, you know, the pumpers out there, listen, I pump it to some degree too. I'm not going to lie. I think that everybody should have some silver. Everybody should have some, right? Uh, but a percentage of their overall investment should be silver, not all of their investment. You know, and this stuff is different because this is coinage. So if you're a collector, think about this as different, but it still does have precious metals in it. You know, palladium, silver, gold, whatever the case may be. Actually, this is platinum. But you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a little different to be a coin collector. And to be just a collector of like maybe uh, I don't know, uh, to be a collector of these kinds of things, you know, like uh, just as a collector, it's just different a little bit. But it is still silver. <sighs> Anyways, I'm all over the place right now, all over the place. Spectacular! You got to see the video of a founder of Wall Street Silver and his interview with Kitco. LOL. Um, I don't want to see it. Uh, Empire of Precious Metals is off. Thank you very much. Make sure you guys check him out. Give him a, uh, a follow for sure because he does a really cool auction. Um, in fact, um, you know, it's it's probably one of my favorite auctions out there if I, if I can be honest about it. Um, I have an auction too, but, you know, he really goes through a lot of length to make his fun and uh, crazy at the same time. So, mm, have some <clears throat> have some coffee there. Whoa. So definitely check him out. Who knows, maybe you'll see some of my, my poured silver pieces on his auction sometime. All right, let's see, uh, Preamble Platinum Series. Um, let's see, if you missed out on this 2018, 2020 series, some are still available. Uh, I missed out on this series, but because I don't care for it, it's not that great to me. I don't need to see just people hanging out on coins. You know, I don't know. I love seeing Lady, Lady Liberty on my coins. I, I love that. I almost said a, a weird word. <laughs> Labia Liberty. <laughs> All right. You didn't hear that, kids. You didn't hear that word. <laughs> Lady Liberty. Golly. It's the uh, it's the coffee talk, and I promise. <laughs> ah, okay. Anyways, focus. Focus. Uh, here's a little bit of my drama right here, the 2021 Morgan dollars that are coming out, right? Um, you know, let's talk about the drama that I'm, I'm putting towards these coins real quick. I... I like that they're doing it. I like that they're trying to get hobbyists back into an old coin series like the Morgan dollar and the peace dollar. I like that. I like seeing it come out as somebody who likes the coin a lot, who likes the Morgan dollar, who likes the peace dollar. I just wanted the best for it. You know what I mean? And I don't know if anything could have made me a hundred percent happy. Um, but I guess it's better than nothing, right? And a lot of people like it, though. A lot of people really enjoy this. They can't wait. Uh, they're excited about it. And so that's good. I mean, that's that's good for our hobby. 
but I think it could have been better, you know, I don't know, and that's just me being the guy that wants the very best, the very best. Now, this I found interesting, I found this very interesting, that we had talked about the, the mintage limit and the product limit for, for these Morgan dollars, and now they're saying that this is the mintage limit right here. So this is confusing to me because I thought it was just the product limit at first for each one of these was um, 175,000 each. But it seems like this is now the mintage limit. You think this is like a typo here? Um, because I don't know, that, that, that actually makes me more excited right there. If they're only doing um, 175,000 each of these, that's actually you know, a decently low number, decently low. I know it seems high, but in the overall grand scheme of things with the excitement this is going to cause uh, this particular series, that might actually be pretty nice. So um, D-Wings World says still product limit on the website. Yeah, so I'm wondering, is that a typo? If not, if they end up coming out and that's actually the mintage limit, very exciting. Very, very exciting. Uh, left side store, I got to buy a few. I'm still going to buy at least one of each for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, but they're smaller than an ounce. You're right. They are smaller than an ounce. Uh, so was the previous um, Peace Dollars and uh, Morgan Dollars. But they also weren't triple nine fine, which these new ones are. And, uh, you know, 80-something bucks, 80-something bucks a piece, and you got to wait five months. It's, you know, like I said, I wish they had done things differently. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, basically says if they sell a lot, they will make more. Yeah, that's the product limit. That's exactly what a product limit is, is it not? Vincent says, and they're not shipping until October, right? That's a long time. Uh, Kanye, what's up? How's it going? Uh, let's see. Beto plus 85 for just one. That's too high. Yep, it is pretty high. But you know you know, many of us are going to get them. I'm going to get at least one. Uh, that's, that's the way it works, right? They know what we want. They know what we want. Here's the peace dollar right here. Pre-orders beginning May 24th. Won't ship out until like October. You know, maybe they're just giving themselves like an overestimate of the time it's going to take before they ship them out. Maybe they'll be lickety split. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. Now, the mintage limit on these right here says 200,000. And again, it's not saying product limit. It's saying mintage limit. So very interested to see if that is just some new revelations that they put out for this little booklet right here. Or if that right there is actually uh, a typo. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, I'm going to love... I think I'm going to actually like the Peace Dollar more than the Morgan, you know? Because I actually have a lot of Morgans in pretty good condition, uh, but I don't have a whole lot of Peace Dollars where you can see the reverse look as good as, you know, the reverse here. So, very interesting, very interesting. Jeff Brown, thank you for joining the Copper Coin tier, the members only. Make sure you watch my members only videos. There are some, you know, are they the greatest videos? I don't know. You, you, you to be the judge. They're totally different. I put a lot of guns and stuff in those videos to make them something completely different for the viewers. Um, so yeah, check them out. But thank you for being a member. I greatly appreciate it. Paul Richard says, yep, $28 for a good, for an old one. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? You can buy an old one, you know, a hundred plus years old for 28 bucks, maybe 30, you know, really nice one for like 40 bucks, but then you get a brand new one and it's like 85 bucks. And I don't know, they just stamp them out so quick. Stamp, 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 stamp. I don't know. Jack P, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Um, Rich Steele says, it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. That's all it is. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it, it is what it is. Vin Win. Did I say that right? Vin Win? Uh, you think they're trying to bring coin collecting back into popularity versus bullion stacking? Um, I think they're just trying to, to change things up, to, to try to get people as interested as possible, to, to maybe get old collectors back into it. I will say, I mean, I think that the Mint Director has been doing a good job with trying to trying to bring interest back into coin collecting, don't you think? Uh, by putting um, old coins out into, you know, circulation to try to get people to, to search for coins and, you know, everything they're doing is, is trying to be as positive as possible while also watching out for their wallet. <laughs> so they're trying, I think, maybe, a little bit. Um... Borderland, what's up, buddy? Borderland's in the house. The uh, the Morgan Eagle is not so great, lol. It's kind of crooked, right? Isn't it kind of crooked? Still cool though. No, we can't we can't love it. Silver John, brass and lead are cool too. I love brass and lead, man. Here's the American Eagle gold proof four coin set. Uh, American Buffalo 
So American Eagle set right here, and there's an American Buffalo. What do you think? Do you think that they should do the Buffalo in kind of like the American Eagle style where you have the one ounce, the uh, half ounce, the quarter ounce, and the tenth ounce? Do you think they should kind of do that with the Buffalo? Would you be a buyer if you could get a Buffalo in a tenth ounce version? Would you be a buyer of that? I know that I would be a big time buyer. What do you think? Do you think we should just all spam the U.S. men with emails saying that we want that? Because I would definitely be into it. Definitely into it. Uh, guest pronunciation. Trying. Oh, Yolo Bagels. What's up, buddy? I tried to watch your live on Instagram yesterday, but I don't know if you were having problems. Uh, I agree with your last statement, but why change it so much? I don't know, buddy. I don't know. I don't know why they got to do what they do. You know, maybe there's more to it, and we just, you know, us peons will never know. Uh, W's and quarters. Yeah, exa exactly, Jeff. Putting the little W's out there into circulation and us going and then trying to collect them all like crazy. That was fun. Um, I found one of those W's at a Chick-fil-A in my change, and I was so tickled. You know what I mean? It had tickles all over me. Super tickled. Uh, man, the Buffalo is the best. Borderland Stack with the $10 Super Chat. Thank you so much. The only gold I will buy this year from the Mint is the 2021 Commemorative Liberty 1 ounce. Okay, well, hold on. Before you say that, before you say that, Borderland, what do you think about this right here? The 2021 American Liberty High Relief Gold Coin features a new obverse with a wild American Mustang horse bucking off a Western-style saddle, evoking the throwing off of the yoke of British rule during the American Revolution. The horse is centered on a rising sun. The reverse design features an eagle. I enjoy this coin. I really do enjoy it. And it's high relief, so that's going to look great. Unfortunately, with, uh, you know, 2D paper, we can't enjoy relief. But, you know, on the coin, we'll see some relief. I think this, this is going to be fun right here. Thank you again, uh, Borderland, for the super chat, man. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. You the man, Borderland. <clears throat> Uh, Jack says they're doing a good job, but they price a lot of new collectors out. You're completely right. Yes, sir. I don't disagree with that whatsoever. Yolo Bagel says they've done a good job with the 2021 quarter design. Same with the horse gold coin. Tell me what you think about this horse. Everybody put in the chat. What do you think about this horse? Uh, fractional buffaloes would be epic. I agree. David says spectacular. I will be watching out for errors on the new silver dollars. Make sure you are, man. Wouldn't that be cool if they put some varieties in there for us? Huh? Wouldn't that be nice? Now there's a cool buying for sure. I like it, but it looks cartoonish. Uh, a little cartoonish. Yeah, you're right. The horse high relief coin is beautiful. The reverse is hideous though. Yeah, the eagle is the eagle kind of the reverse side. Yeah, could have been better, but not bad. Not totally bad. I would definitely exchange a found W quarter for a super tickle. You want a super tickle? <laughs> aye, 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 Jeff. You keep that to yourself, buddy. Uh, Matt. Sorry, I missed your comment there, Matt. Matt says, I never loved the buffalo. I think too much detail and texture. I probably should love it more, but I don't. Maybe not shiny enough. Okay, fair enough. Not It's not for everybody. Uh, Chick-fil-A is greater than Zaxby's. Zaxby's is weird for me, for sure. Uh, not terrible, but... Yeah, I think you might be. I think you might be right there, Yolo Bagels. Um, it's cool, good horse, looks cool. Yes for the horse, no on the buffalo. Really, you don't want fractional buffaloes? Okay, interesting. Horse looks great, but in my opinion, the eagle looks better. Okay, fair enough. I definitely prefer a Brumbly coin over this one. Oh, you like the horse? That that uh, Brumby coin? You like that one? Um, I like the horse, nice design. I'm lucky with W quarters. I work at a gas station. You son of a gun, Michael. Don't you all wish we worked at like a gas station uh, with like a, you know, as a cashier or like a cashier at like a bank or, you know, a teller, teller at a bank, I guess they're called, or like a cashier at like some, some place that deals with just constant, you know, coins and stuff. Don't you kind of wish deep down inside that you didn't have your nice paying job and you had one of those kind of jobs just so you can play with coins all day? <laughs> you know, look through them because I know I would. Oh, son of a gun. In fact, I forgot uh, a buddy of mine who does work as, let's say, a cashier. Let's just call him a cashier, like a temporary cashier. I don't know how to explain it without giving too much detail, but let's just say that. Um, he comes up to me and he goes, hey, and he throws 
two coins on the table. One's a really jacked up looking Lincoln cent. You know, so it got scratches all over it. Looks like somebody ran over it. Terrible looking. And he goes, and the other one was a, uh, a buffalo nickel. Okay. 19, uh, what is it? Uh, 1936, I think it was, Buffalo Nickel. I think that was the date. I wish I had it in front of me. It's in, actually in my shirt pocket. But I was like, wow, uh, really cool. And he goes, yeah, you know, I found them in the, in the register. And I'm like, man, thanks for bringing those to me. But you don't often find in circulation like a Buffalo Nickel, like with the date is looking as good as this one did. Man, it looks great. Looks great. And the dude just gave it to me. He's like, hey, here you go. He goes, he goes I'm not a coin collector. Um, it's actually Ryan from another one of my videos. Uh, I think I mentioned that he gave me a Mercury Dime that he found. And, uh, man, he's just looking for coins for me, man. I love the guy. I love the guy. So, yeah. yeah. I love having somebody like that in my life, man, that's just looking for coins for me. It's really cool. Um, another buddy of mine, actually, he uh, his mother... I'm just getting off topic now. He His mother has a uh, old coin collection, and he showed me a lot of silver coins and stuff. And so um, I'd like to actually look through that with him and kind of give like a live kind of evaluation of like some of the coins and uh that would be cool right too to do that so yeah that's uh that, that might be coming up we talked about that it's 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 nice letting people know that you're a coin collector but it's scary at the same time right because what kind of information are you giving when you tell somebody you're a coin collector in like your personal life it's one of those hobbies where you you want to be private but then at the same time you know you want to share your collection a little bit Anyways, that's where I'm going. Yeah, I like this horse. I think I'll buy one for sure. High relief, too. High relief. Uh, when I buy one, I'll show you all, and uh, you can make your determination. How about that? You want to do that way? <clears throat> A bank teller would be awesome. Yeah, man. I just, I just imagine in the back of my mind that these bank tellers just get so much silver and crazy-looking coins and awesome stuff all the time. And, uh, yeah, man. Whew, that's just what I imagine. Uh, KFC chicken is basically rocks. <laughs> Now we're talking about different kinds of chicken. Uh, Ron Lutz, uh, Speg, is it good to be stacking 90% constitutional silver right now? Yes, sir. It is never a bad idea, Ron, to stack 90%. Never, ever a bad idea. <clears throat> um, I eat a lot of spicy stuff. Creates your own gas station. Gee whiz, Paul. Golly. Totally off topic, huh? Spectacular. Would New Way ever put out a Zaxby's coin? <laughs> I don't know. They put out everything else, don't they? <clears throat> I found a tone uh, VDB in great shape. What, in circulation, Michael? That's awesome. Awesome. Um, how is Coin Guy, says Kanye. Coin Guy's good. He's going on a little uh, little vacation. He and I are going to be doing something soon. Uh, when he ever gets back from vacation, he wants to do something else. You know him, man. Any kind of stuff in the news and anything to talk about, he's ready to do a video. So he is your guy, and I'm your guy to show you off, guy. You know what I mean, guy? Makes sense? I don't know. Um, TLC says, I found a silver rose about at work, checked behind me, and slid it in my pocket. LOL. Well, hopefully you uh, you gave them a dime back for it, you son of a gun. Uh, let's see. Always cool finding others that are interested. Funny story. A little over a year ago, pre-COVID, I gave a Dublin Donuts cashier person. Dublin Donuts, huh? Ten half dollars to pay for a stuff I ordered, and they called a manager over because they never have seen them, or they have never seen them. Jack P. Collect Guns 2. Is that book from the Mint? Yes, it's from the Mint. I've been trying to get to it, but I've been reading comments too. I'm doing kind of everything here, aren't I? Kind of going all over the place. Uh, Mark B. in the house. How's it going? Jack P. When I ran a nightclub, I would go through the drawers every night for silver coins and star notes. Did you find any? That's the question. Uh, let's see. National. Oh, hold on a minute. 2021 National Law Enforcement Memorial and Museum. So now we like law enforcement? I thought we hated law enforcement. I don't know what to think anymore, man. The news just tells you one thing, and then the U.S. Mint puts out some kind of thing where we're actually commemorati commemorating uh, uh, law enforcement. So are we going to commemorate them, or are we going to hate them? I don't, I don't know what's going on anymore. Um, I appreciate law enforcement, but that's just me. That's just me. So, um... Not really into it. Not really into it. I like that design. That's pretty cool. Uh, serve and protect. And you have a six-sided star. I think my star is five-sided. So a little different, but pretty cool, right? In God we trust. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that's cool. That, that part of the design, uh, less interesting for me. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Krista Mekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekalekal
Mechalife? I don't know. Join us celebrating the life and legacy of teacher Krista uh, Mikalif. Mikalif? I don't know if I know her. Do I know her? Should I know her? Uh, commemorative coin programs. Uh, committed teacher selected to be the first civilian in space under NASA's. Oh, okay. So the first civilian in, in space, and she was a teacher. I got gotcha. you. Is that what she looked like? She's pretty. Reminds me a lot of like a Shakira a little bit right there, huh? Touch the future and teach. So um, not a big fan per se of that coin. If she's the first teacher in space, shouldn't you put maybe like a rocket ship or something like that showing the moon there? I don't know. Uh, cool. Not not buying that one. No offense there, uh, Krista. You, know, you look pretty on the coin, but not uh, not a fan. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. I hate being down on the mint, but I can't go to the law enforcement series. I don't like the design. Yeah, yeah, that one design was cool, but if it comes with the other part, I probably won't be getting it. Borderland Stacker Spectacular. The mint director is a Trump holdover, so we will get pro. <laughs> Law enforcement coins. I got you. Uh, Jack P blew up. Good mark. Rainy here. Perth. Um, she blew up in the shuttle. Oh, man. Well, now I feel bad, don't I? She's she's uh, she's that one. One of those ones that passed away. Well, that's not cool at all. So that's why they're doing the little commemorative thing for her. Okay. Still don't really care for the coin itself. Um, you know, what happened to her? Sorry about that for sure. Very sorry about that. You hear Elon Musk talking about how he wants to get people to uh, Mars, and he's like, hey, listen, a lot of people are going to die. <laughs> he's like, it's going to be a great adventure, but, yep, going to be a lot of deaths. And it's like, wow, that sounds like the trip that I want to take. Jeez, Mar <laughs> Jeez man, you can't, uh, you can't, uh, you know, Elon, you can't, you can't uh, try to convince me a little bit better than that. <laughs> Just come right out and say, yep, a lot of people are going to die on this trip, but it's going to be for the greater good. Yeah, I'm going to skip that trip there, Elon. Skip the trip. I don't care how much money you got. Wow. <laughs> uh, we back attack. What's up, buddy? Uh, let's see. I was in eighth grade when that happened, and they told us at school. That's sad, Richard, huh? Man. Uh, Thomas Moore. Hello from Canada. Hello, Thomas Moore. And Greg says, I have some respect, bro. She died in the shuttle. Hey, listen. Just because she uh, died in the shuttle does not mean I'm going to buy the coin, buddy. You know what I mean? I definitely uh, respect her for going up there. But, uh, you know, I don't care for the coin. It's not about me not respecting her. It's just not me appreciating the coin itself. Okay? Thanks. Um, let's see. People die all the time, you know what I mean? Like, I can't can't show uh, tons of respect everywhere, you know? Appreciate her. Appreciate her for going up there and, you know, being a teacher for sure above everything else. Man, teachers have a hard job. Give her that respect for sure. But uh, as far as everybody being on a coin, you know, people have done a lot of great things before. And just because they've done a lot of great things don't mean they're going to make a great coin. You know? That makes sense? <clears throat> Let's see. President George, like this right here, you know? If you respect the uh, the Bushes, you know what I mean, as being the president, I don't really care for them on the coins. Not trying to get a Barbara Bush coin. Not trying to get a George Bush coin. Not caring about that. Whether you like them or not, not getting them. <laughs> not for me. Not for me. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Presidential silver medals. Uh, kind of cool. Wish it was a coin rather than a medal. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe Washington on a medal. That's kind of kind of all right. I just, that price is not that bad. Is that, is that going to be silver? Silver medals, yeah. I wonder the size of that. They look like they're kind of large, right? For 65 bucks? I mean, it couldn't be any more than an ounce, knowing the mint. Huh. That's something to look at. Maybe the George Washington medal will be something I get. And there's only two of them. Maybe I'll just get both. I don't know. Interesting. Uh, what happened here in the chat? Hold on. China sells the Mars trip with no problems. Um, at least Musk isn't lying. Yeah, true, I guess. Uh, Spegs, we have US UFOs after us. Man, there's more and more talk about UFOs in the news um, all the time. And people saying that, oh, yeah, they're real. We have evidence, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know, man. Maybe we're going to get uh, invaded and taken over, and who knows. Boston Stacka. I like that name. Welcome to the Silver Coin tier, man. Thank you very much for being a member. Greatly appreciate it, Boston Stacka. And everybody, again, who did the Super Chats today, it was spamming with Super Chats. That was, that was fun and appreciated, and definitely will use that towards the, the greater good of the channel. Believe that. Uh, will Elon Musk be on a coin? Well, listen, if he goes to the, if he actually makes a successful trip to 
uh, Mars and actually lands a person there, I think he should have many coins with his face on it, don't you think? He, I mean, really, he's trying to do good things. You know, I give him credit. He's trying to solve tra traffic problems, you know, by boring under um, California and make tunnels there. He's trying to build um, electric cars. Um, he's making bulletproof trucks for whatever reason, <laughs> which actually, you know, in hindsight, in 2020, it would have been nice to have a bulletproof truck, would it not have? So maybe he knows something we don't. But uh, he's trying. He's trying. He's trying to put Dogecoin on the moon. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got way bigger problems than going to Mars. Yeah, but eventually, eventually, and not in our lifetime, and probably not in like 10 lifetimes from now, but we're probably going to need to go somewhere else, right? The way things are going. So uh, it, it's got to happen at some point that we need to try to branch out. Um, JL says, space is fake. He says, fake, fake, fake. I miss real presidents. Um, says, tube. And while wow, Kanye... Hey, do you like uh, Canadian junk silver? I do, man. They're like the canoes and stuff. I love those. Absolutely. The 80%. Uh, Victor Fest. I just picked up the world's first fair half ounce Columbus coin today. It's so sweet. Well, you're so sweet, Victor. Uh, Paul Richards. UFOs are demons. Old news. Nothing new under the sun. Um, TLC Joshua. Hey, uh... So May is coming to an end. Did you pick up any gold this month? I know, TLC. I know. My 10th ounce gold challenge. Trust me, I keep thinking about it, buddy. Um, I got a little bit more time. So, no, I have not picked up any 10th ounce yet. Um, but I will. I will. Trust me. I got I got this. I think I got this. I hope I do. I mean, it would really, really stink to, to stop it now, right? Ooh, bite my nails. Biting them. Uh, Elon Musk is a thief, in my opinion. Well, let me talk about that for a second, Mr. Rip Rider. Let's talk about Elon Musk being a thief. So you tell me your opinion on how this all worked out. Hmm. Take some more of this coffee real quick. So Elon Musk, and if I'm if I'm not fact correct in here, if I'm if I got some facts wrong, yeah, you know, correct me. Uh, but Elon Musk was uh, he ended up buying Bitcoin, right? Buying a certain amount of Bitcoin, and you know, the cryptocurrency Bitcoin, if you guys don't know what that is. I, probably everybody in the whole world has got to know about that by now. But he ends up buying this Bitcoin and not telling anybody about it, right? And not just him, but like his company, right? Tesla. So they bought this Bitcoin. And then, you know, the price was creeping up. The price was creeping up. And then after, so he bought it low, right? He bought it at whatever, like low price here. Let's say it. he bought it here, low price, creeping up a little bit. Then here, way, way later, he announces... Um, or well, the company announces, hey, we bought a bunch of Bitcoin. And so then the price goes, whoa, Elon Musk is in. Elon Musk believes in Bitcoin. Now the price is up here, right? Didn't tell anybody. Didn't tell anybody again that now he sold. Okay? So Elon Musk got rid of all that Bitcoin. And so now the price started creeping down slowly. Okay? And then he goes, yeah, I sold Bitcoin. Don't really agree with it. You know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. And... Now price is down here. I mean, it lost like $20,000 in the matter of just a couple weeks. Bitcoin did $20,000. Lost. Gone. Down. And now what he's probably going to do is buy it again right here. And it's going to creep back up. He's going to be like, hey, Bitcoin is the future. And it goes back up. You know what I mean? Like, I think he's on to something. You know what I mean? He doesn't become a billionaire for no reason. He knows what he's doing. But made more money in like a year than he did selling his cars for the entire year. In just a matter of moments, really, with Bitcoin. Very interesting fellow. He knows what he's doing. Ray K, no respect uh, for Elon anymore. Hey, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate you for that. Just because of that little maneuver he did, that was kind of, that was kind of shady. You know what I mean? Uh, he Bitcoin, he buys Bitcoin cheap and brags about it, then secretly sells it at an inflated price. Yep, that's exactly what he did. He's a genius. <laughs> Says left side. Uh, company bought at 34k, then sold at top 10% of it was all. Nate says, uh, and I think somebody else came in too. If I missed, um, who did I miss? Did I miss anybody? Okay, just Nate. Nate, uh, what's up, buddy? Nate says, Elon's been in Bitcoin for years. I remember him shilling Doge in 2017 too. Well, he's he's back to shilling Doge, is he not? So he's going to work with the creators of Doge. Doge is going on to uh, Coinbase in four to six weeks. So um, it's an exciting time for Doge once again. You know, I recommended to you all, in the community tab to buy Doge at seven cents after I had bought it at four and a half cents. 
I said, you should buy Doge. And I put a lot of money into Doge. Let me tell you what, I don't want to say how much, but I did a lot at four and a half cents. And then I came back in at nine cents. And now we're sitting at, I don't know, what, 48 cents today for Doge? So let's not, let's not pump cryptocurrency right now, but I tried to tell you guys, man, you know, hit it a little bit. Just give it a chance. Some people took me up on it. Anyways, uh, am I interested in these? I have the old telephone. That's kind of cool. Remember that old, the little old rotary telephone? I still remember having one of those when I was a kid. And I'm only 37 and I had one. Interesting. That's kind of pretty. You know, as plain as that one is right there, Liberty, like, you know, the, the plain fields right there, that's kind of pretty. I kind of like that. Is that, is that just going to be copper? $1 coin program. Probably, right? That's probably just a, a clad, copper clad. Yeah, still pretty though. I, I would like that in gold. That one right there. I think that's kind of pretty. Uh, Doge is 49 cents. Well, there you go. I bought Doge, got a nice new Camry. Nice, buddy. Congratulations. Um, I bought Doge at uh, a tenth of a cent. Is that what that says? Tenth of a cent? Jeez. Or no, a hundredth of a cent. Goodness gracious. And then sold. So you sold when it just came up a little bit, huh? Uh, Paul Richards dodged it. He just completely got rid of it, huh? Whew. Not good. I bought it four cents left side story. Nice, man. Nice. Currency collector. Hello, everyone. Hello to you. Uh, one wallet holds 24% of Doge. Yeah, that's interesting, too. That's interesting. There's uh, some kind of real, real heavy hitter when it comes to Doge out there. Um, after this, I think we're pretty much just normal stuff. Uh, Kennedy half dollars. A lot of people don't know that Kennedy half dollars are still being made even today. Uh, the Native American coin, they're trying to do something different there, huh? With the Sacagawea. Uh, it's all right. All right, not that into it. What does this say? Talks a little bit about United States Mint augmented reality. Check out these innovative ways to engage with the United States Mint. Oh, can you go on like a little little tour on the internet? Well, that'd be cool. Yeah, a little vir virtual tour of the United States Mint. Well, that would be fun. Maybe I'll do that sometime on the channel. Just go through the little tour thing. That's cool. Huh. Fantastic. Uh, scan the QR code below to play the game. How does that work? Hold on a second. Can I do that right here? Well, um, how do I do that? Scan the code. I use my I use my camera, right? Let's see. Da, 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 da. How do I do that? Boom. Go to Safari. Do, do, do. USMint.gov. Uh, George Washington collection up for grabs. Uh, just don't ignore the face reveal right there. Let's see. Do you have what it takes to win this quarter verse game? How do I do that? Scan QR. I just did scan it. How can I scan it on my phone? George Washington quarter collection up for grant. Okay, well, I'll have to do that later because it's not working. For some reason, like the website's like frozen. Maybe I'm not meant to do it on my phone, but it says scan the QR code. Huh. Anyways. <clears throat> Never buy the dodge come together. Cool Joshua Jones Silver 2859. Yeah, it's been going up a little bit. At one point I think it was up 95 cents today. These are kind of cool, these little engravings from the US map. I mean they're nothing special, but seeing uh, MLK on an engraving, that's kind of cool. Uh yeah, pretty cool stuff right there. Huh. And holiday ornaments. If you want to get uh, ready for Christmas in July, you'll be ready for those. And that's it. Oh shoot, my address is on there. Yikes. Yikes, you didn't see my address. Whoa, you saw it again. Oh, no. All right, anyways, there's my P.O. box if you ever want to send me anything. But, yeah, that's that. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Do um, you guys want to see some of my poured stuff that I've been doing? You want to see a little bit of that? Um, I've always been wary of cryptocurrency. There's a baby Yoda coin, different man. Got to roll. Everyone have a great one. See you later, D-Wing. Appreciate you coming by. Uh, anything named crypto. Yeah, right? The name itself is kind of kind of scary to some degree. Uh, Vin Wen says, what are your thoughts on rare day coins versus bullion nowadays? Uh, both are expensive, but what's a better investment? Right now, um, I think the way of things right now seems to be bullion. Everybody's really, really reaching out for bullion. Um, you know, rare day coins, though, and cool looking coins and graded coins is still very popular, too, believe it or not. Ah, Beto D, uh, why doesn't Elon Musk get into silver and gold? He must not like them. Uh, he talks about gold a fair share, for sure. Yep, you gotta you gotta check him out. He does talk about it. Now, here's the thing: Elon Musk, as far as you know, we all know, right? He doesn't tell us everything he does. He might have a whole crazy stack of gold and silver. We won't ever know it. 
But um, Elon Musk had sold a lot of his stuff, a lot of his possessions, because he believed that possessions are distracting him from, like, you know, his main focus, which is now getting onto Mars and, and other business that he has, of course. So, um, you know, old Musky did say some good things about gold for sure. Uh, but he, you know, he doesn't have a lot of possessions either. So he might be on that kind of train that where he doesn't believe to, to hold that kind of stuff. I don't know. You know, Elon Musk does what Elon Musk does anyways. Um, there's a huge wallet that bought 1.5 billion the day before Elon's tweet about would you buy a Tesla with Dodge? Oh yeah, he put out that too. Would you want? Would you want? Would you want to be able to buy a uh, a Tesla with your Dogecoin? Um, New Zealand Mint going to be expensive. Not bragging, but I made a lot with cryptocurrencies. Me too, Ray K. Yeah, me too. It's uh, it's just a different way to invest, isn't it? It's scary all the same, man. You can lose a lot. I remember a couple times I'd look at my um, my little account thing and I'd be down like two thousand dollars just in a matter of moments, and then like. I'd be like, you know what? I'm not selling though. I'm just going to hold out and see what happens. And then two days later, I'm up $2,000 from that. So technically a $4,000 difference. Crazy, crazy, crazy world, that crypto stuff, man. Whew. Martin Harris, let's see your silver. All right, I'll show you a couple pieces. I will show you a couple. Um, I don't want to just show them off and then not say like, hey, you can buy these. So I will allow you to buy anything that you see here and I don't want to show too many off. I really don't have too many of these out in kind of like the public, you know what I mean? I really don't have a whole lot out. This is a nice one right here. That's cool. Why am I looking through them and not showing you guys? That's the question. Should I show you all? This is one of my one of my favorite ones right here. I have like a little stack of favorites. Um, this is a big boy. This is four ounces. Um, the way I would have to sell these to you guys right now on the stream is I'd probably do $50 an ounce um, on these, and that's that's pretty cheap from what I normally charge. So that's that. Darth Stacker, what up, buddy? How's it going? Uh, so this is four ounces right here, and uh, it's, it's so hard to tell on this camera, but this man is so pretty. So pretty. It's got like, so I toned it, and it's got like rainbow right here, and I know you can't really tell, but... It's got hammered edges all around this side right here. Nice chunky piece. And it's got the ripples on top. And that's all toned up. And the way I did it was I toned it first and then I hammered the sides. So the sides look really, really shiny and silvery. And then this right here has the rainbow look. And this has the rainbow look, but silvery, like shiny on the sides. Really, really came out neat. And of course my stamp and some stars and stuff. But yeah, four ounces. So if anybody wants that, that's uh, what fifty dollars an ounce. That's two hundred bucks. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And if you don't want it, that's one of my favorite pieces. So I'm totally fine not selling any of this stuff. Uh, here's a little round piece I did. So it's got some cool little rippleage on the top there, and it's a round piece. This is. Let's see if I can see that. Uh, hold on, I gotta look close. I gotta take it away for a second. This is one point six troy ounces. So it's got some hammered to the side right there, and then my stamp on the back. And then, yeah, the ripples. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <clears throat> That's steep, says Michael. Uh, it's poured silver, man. So um, I know it sounds like it's like, you know, I'm, I'm gouging the prices here, right? But it's a lot of work compared to just, you know, simply stamping stuff out in a factory. There's a lot that goes into it. And a lot of money that goes into all this stuff, too. Here is a 3.1 ounce. It's got the, uh, the stamping on the back. Triple nine silver, of course. Nothing impure here. And it's got the stars all on the side and then some rippleage on the top. I think that's a pretty cool one, too. I like making these things. They're fun. Love the hammered look. Yeah, look at this. Let me try to find a pure hammered one. Because that is... Those are so much fun. Look at this one. So here the one's all shiny. No toning to this one at all. This is 2.1 ounces. 2.1 ounces. $50 per ounce. That's right, Peter. Yeah, because it's poured silver, and I've, I've actually had to work on these things. And I'm totally fine with never selling any of these. I've sold a few uh, to people that want, so there's not a whole lot out there. And, uh, you know, of course, I have, like, a I send out a signed COA and everything. So it really is art, man. I'm telling you right now, there's an art to it. But here's, like, a hammered top and hammered sides. And it's got that logo on the bottom. I wish the camera picked it up better. It really, really doesn't do these justice. Let me try to move this out a little bit, the light. And uh, 
the zoom on the camera is not as good as my other camera. But I will say it, it makes for a better stream. There's less lag on the stream when I do it this way. It's just the camera stinks. You can't really enjoy these pieces at all. But they are beautiful in my opinion. Another little hammered piece. Uh, let's see them on the Sigma. Sure. You want to see one on the Sigma? I'll show you one real quick. Uh, of course, the Sigma does not want to show up on the camera either. Is there a better way to show? Because it's on right now. I don't think I can show it on here, buddy. Let me see if I can turn some kind of effect off real quick. Um, there might be some kind of light setting that's messing with it. One second. I'm going to try to adjust my camera. Backlight correction. Let's take that off. Does that change it? No. Maybe no light on? Uh... Yeah, see, the digital display, you can't even see the wording on it for some weird reason. Like, the camera won't even pick that up. That's wild. Auto focus, auto white balance, maybe? Let's take that off. No, it doesn't help at all. Um, anti flicker, maybe? Does that change it? No. I Unfortunately, I I can put it on there, but you're going to have to be taking my word for it. You know what I mean? That's That's no good. I don't know why. I don't know why you can't see it that good. Um, I'll put it on there, but you're again, you're taking my word for it because you can't see the the display. Uh, let's see, I'm on triple nine pure silver. Place the sample. Which one do you want to try? You want to try this this one right here just for fun? Put it on that side. Now, interestingly enough, it actually has a bit of a curve to it, and I know you can't see it, but it's actually right inside those brackets perfectly. Let's turn it on the other side, on the ripple side. And let's go there. Again, right inside the brackets. Whoops. I know you can't see it. Can you can you sort of see it? Oh man, I wish. Right inside the brackets. I'm sorry that you can't see it, but I could do that on a different video or something like that where I use my other camera to actually test it. But uh, what I actually do with all this uh, port silver that I do is I, you know, I get the uh, the bullion and I test each piece of bullion on the Sigma to make sure it's in the brackets and then. After I make it, I test it again. So I, I probably don't have to do all those steps, but just for fun, I end up doing it just to make sure that it does show up on the Sigma. Um, but high relief, ah, I know, but that really doesn't matter. Um, that video, unfortunately, really kind of <sighs> lied to a lot of people. Um, that, that other video trying to, to debunk everything I was doing, it was not the case. If there's something wrong with the bar, because uh, like I told you at the beginning of this video, um, Silver Gold Bull says that they tested it with the XRF just now, and they said that it was it was pure. It's pure silver. But something is going on with only certain bars out of that whole series that are causing the issue on the Sigma. It's not every single bar. It's not even like, um, <clears throat> you know, like uh, a certain percentage of the bars. It's like, it's such a low percentage. It's like maybe like, I don't know, it's terribly low. I've had five people now contact me and say that they've had that same problem. They showed me pictures. Only five. So... When that video puts five of them on there and they're all having like little issues and he has to move it and stuff, it's it's user error right there. It's the actual shop owner doesn't really understand what he's doing, unfortunately. But I showed at the beginning of this stream me actually using mine and no matter where I put it, um, it was it was fine. But you just can't see that digital display, unfortunately. Uh, maybe a polarization issue. Yeah, man. Uh, Jason Lee, spectacular. You're wasting time in precious metals. I know. I should be a, uh, I don't know, uh, a superstar elsewhere. <laughs> This one's a cool one. These little dome pieces. I like these. So this is a 1.6 ounce. A little smaller than I usually make these. has some hammer to it right there. And it has like a, a dome to it. So you can put it on your finger just for fun. But yeah, that's kind of cool, right? Kind of neat. Uh, weird, did you see that other guy do it out of the capsule? Weird, LOL. Yeah, so I just, um, at the beginning of, before I even came on here, I tested mine in and out of the plastic. I, I took a knife to my plastic and cut it open just to see if that would cause any kind of issues. And no, it's always pure. Whereas her bar, no matter whether it was in plastic or out of plastic, was always impure. The showing is impure. But again, um, Silver Gold Bull, just to clear the air, they said they tested with their XRF and they're saying that it says pure. And they're going to give me some more info when they have it, so... You know, that's what they say, and I, I do believe them. I don't see why they would lie about that. Um, they were worried that people would think that they were lying if if they did test it as anything but pure. But it's something within that bar, man. There's something going on in that, and uh, they want to help get to the bottom of it. They have contacted Silvertown to find out why this would be causing issues with only certain bars. And, uh, yeah, 
that's uh, that's where we are right now. Um, her bar was completely waxed. Something's wrong with it for sure. Uh, I'm supposed to get another bar that's showing issues on Wednesday, and so I would like to test that one too and see what's going on. And I'll, I'll hit it with specific gravity this time and do more tests. Hopefully I can have that bar in my hands a little bit longer. But there you go. Um, Boston Stack, uh, by the way, that dude who tried to debunk you, who took it to their local coin shop, the very first bar showed up uh, to the right. Yeah, they were a little bit off, but I think it was just user error on his part. And if you notice his Sigma was kind of like really slow, I wonder if he has some calibration issues on that Sigma. He might use it just so much that um, that is kind of like mess his, his sigma might need to get a uh, little uh, get calibrated um, I think that might be what's going on with his to be honest with you uh, Jack says live coin guy sometime I tried his his Wi-Fi in his shop is terrible but uh, we could try it again sometime 1.8 ounce on this one and it gets some nice ripples and no hammer on this one just a real small bar it's a real tiny little 1.8 ounce kind of nice um, I've had issues with really old hand pours, but they say that is because of voids in the bar. Could be, could be like little air bubbles and stuff. Yeah. Um, Raphael or Zafiel, I don't know how to say that word with the X, but the XRF goes like four millimeters into silver, if that. Uh, most only go a one millimeter. Uh, maybe like a really expensive version could go a little deeper, but you got to think it's like X-ray technology and you're trying to X-ray into metal. Um, you know, metal being somewhat dense, right? It's it's hard to hard to really get an X-ray into that kind of stuff. You know, you don't usually see like the center of your bones when you get an X-ray done. You know, you kind of see like the outside image. Uh, ooh, that's a pretty one right there. That is a pretty one. I'll show you a couple more of these and we'll move on. Like I said, I don't really don't really even care to sell them. I kind of like just making them and just having them for myself. They're pretty neat, but I, I would get rid of some if you guys do want some. This is a really, really beautiful one. This is one of my favorites, too. So that pour kind of like comes down, down alongside of it right there. Really kind of nice. The ripples right there, the, I like how that happened. And then I ended up hammering the edges of it. So you can see that right there. Um... And then I did uh, a toning to it. It has like a rainbowness. I don't know, you can't hardly see it on this stinking camera. But this one is, how big is this one? Hold on a second, I gotta look close. This is exactly two ounces. So two ounces, did the stamp a little different, triple nine fine, of course, and some stars. I just love how each one comes out different. Aren't they just, aren't they just so pretty? But yeah, I got a bunch. I got a whole bunch that I've, I've accumulated here. And plus there's more that I'm in the process of still getting done. And, I don't know. If you guys wanted some, though, that's that's where I got to be. I got to be fifty dollars an ounce on it, and uh, that's like I said, that's cheaper than what I normally go for them. So, <laughs> just email me spectacular at yahoo.com if there's something that you you want to try to get or whatever. Um, Matthew says I do, but not at fifty dollars per. That's fine, Matthew. <laughs> like I said, you don't have to buy them. I'm totally fine with that. You know, silver is almost thirty dollars per ounce right now with the premiums and stuff. That's really not a bad idea when you come to poured silver. Um, like there you go, Tiger Roll says it's twenty nine dollars right now per ounce. <clears throat> With the premiums the way they've been going, like uh, fifty dollars an ounce is kind of almost giving it away for the work that has to go into them. But again, I'm in no, I've never been in any kind of pressure to sell anything. Um, let's see, let's talk about some stuff real quick. Can we talk about anything else? Um, hmm. I don't know. Give me some stuff. Give me some stuff in the chat before we end this thing. We've been going for a while. It's almost time to wrap it up. X-rays can go through silver, but you would need a special detector or film on the other side, which XRF doesn't use. Uh, reminds me of slag. Uh, can Superman see through silver? Yes, Richard. Actually, Superman can see through silver. That's confirmed. <clears throat> Spectacular. Who made your stamp? Stamp yours made it for me. And again, that stamp was you know expensive. That's part of the overall price, I guess. You got to pay. Uh, love that sound. What of silver? Love it too. One of my favorite sounds. Here's some shot that I made. This was kind of fun. I'll show you this real quick. So um, I made some a piece that was too big just to see if, it, if I could make it. And then I ended up having to melt that down and made some some really cool shot. So this was this is triple nine fine shot right here and some cool pieces after it hit the water made some 
interesting shapes, I will say. So those were pretty. So a whole little bucket of this stuff. I don't even want to melt this anymore because it's just so cool looking. Very nice, right? Pretty cool. Uh, do you think silver will hit $50 a ounce this month, says Victor? No, I don't think so. Not this month. I mean, this month is almost over, right? Could still come up a little bit, for sure. <clears throat> um, but thank you for the super chat, Victor. Appreciate the $2. Silver John, thank you for entertaining us. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, Boston Saka, they're all super nice. Not bad, bro. $50 is fair for the sweat work going into it. I'll be emailing you for sure. Thanks, Boston. I appreciate it. Um, it's actually pretty cheap. <laughs> it's actually pretty cheap, the $50. Uh, Zephiel, do you use Borax Flux in your pores? Um, sometimes, but because I'm using triple nine and I, like, I end up blowing out the crucible and kind of going through great lengths to make sure that they're already as pure as possible um, there's not a lot of like nasty stuff in there and then afterwards i end up tumbling them and um, scraping off any kind of you know impurities and then i do test it afterwards to make sure they're still still showing up as triple nine so um, i've done it before i put a little bit of the borax in there but it's really not as necessary as you would think as long as you're using really pure stuff you know what i mean and you're not using like just nasty like crucibles and nasty equipment. So, um, in my short little experience of pouring, I found that out. <clears throat> uh, Tiger Tiger Roll says comics are starting to lose their grip on paper silver. The real price will be made evident in the next few months, maybe four hundred dollars to six hundred dollars. Um, man, it's going to be a bad world you live in, brother. If it goes to uh, four hundred to six hundred dollars, I tell you right now, people think that they want that, but you don't want $400 silver. You don't want $600 silver. You don't want $5,000 silver. You really don't. You really don't. It's going to be a miserable place. Um, plumber stacker, when the crucible gets war, you need it. Yeah, it starts to get all flaky and stuff for sure, and you might need it then. Um, I actually just bought a new crucible, so I don't have to worry about that. Mark B. Speg, how bad is Biden messing up? Oh, Biden's terrible. <laughs> He's terrible. The one thing that I looked forward to with Biden... Um, he's not doing the one thing, one thing. And it was about the student loan debt, trying to figure that out a little bit. I know a lot of people are against that. You know, student loans are like, oh no, people should pay too, blah, blah, blah. I, I tend to think that a, a smart society that's not pressured by, you know, having to uh, pay crazy amounts for student loans is a better society. And I'm not saying that you just erase all the student loan debt, but you make the overall student loan um, situation cheaper and not something that somebody has to carry on through their entire life. You know what I mean? Like, um, and I know that you forgive it after a certain time, but, um, student loans, you're talking like when I went through college, uh, like five, almost $600 a month is what my student loans turned out to be. And like, dude, like that's, you're talking like almost a, a mortgage payment right there for some people, like the $600 a month. It shouldn't be that. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be something that stresses out somebody to have to think about to go to college and try to get a better education. Because I don't know about you, but I want really smart doctors. I want really smart people in our world um, working on things that we need. And uh, for them to fear getting an education based on price, you know, that that kind of uh, that kind of scares me. Student loans is a scandal. It really is, man. It really is. And the uh, yeah, that's it is it is. But <laughs> that's um, that's uh, all I all I had to look forward to with the guy, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it is what it is. But a lot of people don't agree with that. A lot of people uh, think that that's ridiculous. You got to pay all your bills, blah blah blah. And hey, listen, everybody thinks differently, right? Um, shouldn't should have been a plumber or a demo guy. Yeah, there you go, man. Uh, wasn't that expensive until government started backing loans. Well, there you go. That's why, right? Um, it should be $400 now, and it's not bad at all. Okay, Tiger Roll. It's it's a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea to have $400 silver. It's a terrible idea if silver goes to $100. And you'll see why when it actually happens. That's all I'll say. Because you'll never understand it until it happens, and then you're like, man, that was that was not as cool as I thought it was going to be. You know? Not nearly as cool as I thought it was going to be. Student loans are not a scandal. Secondary college university education is a scandal. 
don't need SATs or ACTs at Cal anymore. So, uh, the schools are federally funded, yet the cost is insane. I'd like that domed. Uh, just reach out to me via email on that, Tim, and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. <clears throat> so true, Gov touches anything, it turns to crap. Remodeling contractors reaping the benefits. Nice live stream. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate it. We, we went a little bit everywhere, didn't we not? We kind of like touched a, a lot of bases. Um, I want to get more information to you as soon as I'm able with uh, uh, that bar in question, things like that. You know, right now, again, I want to say that Silver and Gold Bull has been awesome through this whole thing. Um, I put a link down in the description just of them because I do want to show them some love. And if you click that link and you buy something from them, you know, maybe not today, but in the future, um, I would definitely appreciate it. They're, they're uh, good people, good people. I'm going to be doing more business with them for sure, just based on how, how positive and cool uh, their CEO is. So uh, he touched me in a good way. <laughs> you know what I mean? He touched me in a good way. Uh, let's see. What did I miss here? Mean Free Path. Good evening, Spag and all. Also pretty good logic on student loans, impact on society. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, like I said, some people don't agree with that. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Like we don't have to all agree. We can all have our different opinions, right? And still be friends at the end of the day. Shouldn't we be able to? Plumber Stacker, you can have all the silver in the world, but if people need to keep what they have, what do you got? That's a good point. Currency Collector, I have always wondered if the American dollar will fall so low and like uh, Zimbabwe with hyperinflation. I don't see that happening, Currency Collector, to be honest with you. I don't see the Zimbabwe situation happening here. There's a, definitely a large group of people that do, but we're also not Zimbabwe. Um, it's, it's, it's different, man. The whole world relies on the United States dollar, right? And the United States, to be honest with you, uh, may not be the most trustworthy price in the entire world, you know what I mean? At least the government, the government itself. So the government can just manipulate and do whatever they want. Um, they can keep on printing money and act like there's no problem for, you know, many of lifetimes to go. <laughs> and that's probably what's going to happen. You know what I mean? That's probably how it's going to go down. <laughs> uh, Boston Stacker, by the way, bro, I sent you an email with a screenshot of a comment I seen which was uncalled for. That's listen, it is what it is, right? There's plenty of comments. Can't can't uh, can't fight everybody's comments and you know which comments are trolly and which ones aren't. Um, Zafio, why do you think $50 or $100 plus silver is bad? It's inevitable by the way the economy and monetary system is operating. Uh, because this stuff right here is more than just, hey, you know, this is money. And it's it's more than that right there. It's just, it's, it has so many more uses. Um, I have a neighbor that just put like tons, tons of panels of solar power on their roof. Just one neighbor. And this stuff is all in that. This stuff right here is in everything that you're watching me right now. It's just all over, all over the place. And so everything is going to be more expensive if this becomes more expensive because we use it everywhere. I mean, you're talking about uh, battery operated cars needing a ton more of this stuff and a ton more of copper too. But um, it's, it's going to raise the price of everything. It's not going to be like, oh, I'm, I'm you know doing so well now because I have silver. It's going to be a trickle effect down to everybody. And so when your iPhone is more money, you know what I mean? And now people need more money to buy that iPhone. People are going to start charging more for groceries. They're going to start charging more for everything to make up that money that they need for their iPhone. And that's a small example, just an iPhone. But TVs, everything, you know, it's going to be a gigantic trickle effect that's going to affect everybody. And then it's not going to seem so cool anymore to have $1,000 silver when everything in the entire economy is more money because of that trickle effect, you know? Uh, even will trickle down to, to gasoline, even being more money than it is now and more scary than it has been because of this pipeline thing. <sighs> Anyways, um, and I agree with that. This is a good statement. Not enough gold to back the gold standard. I have, I totally agree with that, Ray K. Totally agree with that. Uh, we are so lucky the world relies on our dollar. Watch out when they don't. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Spectacular. Back up the truck. Keep on printing. Shake my head. Yeah, it's what's going to happen though, right? And I agree, buy your silver right there too, but don't don't hedge everything on silver, you know. Definitely spread it around. There's a reason why experts recommend not going all in on one thing. 
don't put all your eggs in one basket, man. Your, your parents have probably been telling you that since you were a kid, and they were right. Uh, your thoughts on country going back to gold-based currency, just like uh, Ray K said in his comment, not enough gold to back the gold standard. There's too many people right now, and uh, it's not it's not the same as it was, man. Not the same. <clears throat> One hundred dollars silver equals economic breakdown. Yeah, it, Tiger Roll when when uh, silver and gold rise in price, it's because things are not doing well. It's not doing well. So by you betting on silver going to the moon, you're betting on things, you know, being really bad. I'd rather things be really good. And, uh, you know, it's it's not going to be good when it goes to that price, man. You think you're going to be living large, but you're not going to be living large. I guarantee you. I guarantee that. Going to be an awakening for America. No more living grossly above our means. Um, if Tesla can be 576 and Apple can be 126 a share, too bad if they need to spend a few more dollars on silver. Uh, you're going to be spending money on silver too, buddy. Just because they do, don't mean their their iPhone is going to be the same price. You know what I mean? It's going to be a lot more. Uh, silver is the best overall conductor. Absolutely, it is. Uh, there was never enough gold to back the gold standard. LOL. Cool spag. I enjoy your company. I enjoy yours too, man. And listen, I think the way I think, but you're asking me a question and that's my opinion. So if you have a different opinion, don't, don't totally change your mind, man. Continue to research and, and think the way you do for sure. We can think different ways and still be friends, right? This is my opinion. I happen to have, uh, you know, a channel with 30,000 subscribers. And so my opinion is sometimes louder than other people's, but doesn't mean that it's better. It does not mean that my opinion is better by any means. It's just, you know, I speak speak louder because I have um, a platform, you know what I mean? It's like those uh, those news stories that you totally don't agree with. Um, they speak louder because they have a platform they can get to more people, but it doesn't mean that your opinion is not right or more valid. It's just they have they have an ability, unfortunately, and that's, that's the way it is. Uh, yes, spectacular at yahoo.com is my email, please and thank you. What price will a loaf of bread be when silver goes to $100? Yeah, right. It's already been more expensive. It's like $4 for a loaf right now by me. Imagine that. Might be $8 a loaf. And you're like, wow, silver is great. It's $100. But now i got to pay $8 for a loaf of bread. My milk is now ten fifty. You know, <laughs> the sandwich I normally get for, for $6 is now going to be $13. But it's great. Silver's at 100 bucks. Cool. I like it. Happy. Uh, love the peace dollar is going to be the biggest hit. I think a lot of people are excited about that. A lot of people are excited. Um, going to get into more coin related stuff here pretty soon for sure. I uh, got some ideas for that. Uh, coin guy wants to do a new video pretty soon and talking with a few more coin shops, trying to get some of the, those things worked out, try to get you guys some, some more FaceTime with, with, uh, coin shops. Cause I know you guys like that stuff. Anyways, um, Let's, uh, let, oh, oh, here's a good question. Tommy Stacker says, how do we unsqueeze silver to keep the price down? I don't think you're going to do that. I think that naturally because of what's going on with the economy and, you know, what's happened the last couple of years. Because you remember, you know, we, a lot of us weren't working. Um, a lot of bills were racking up. Uh, stimulus money got passed out, things like that. So that's going to have a trickle effect for years to come. You know, a lot of the stuff that we see right now is not because, you know, we're pushing silver, we're buying so much silver. It's because of what just happened recently in the last couple of years, really. So that's the realization of what's happened here. It hasn't fully dawned on us. It hasn't fully came to fruition. It's not fully here yet. But we're going to see it. Trust me. We're going to we're going to be suffering for a little bit because of what happened these last couple of years with shutdowns and, you know, things like that. People racking up their credit card, credit card, credit card. Now finally starting to get back to work and, hey, let's start paying those credit card bills. Eventually, you know, they're going to default on things and not be able to pay them. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. But just do what you guys do, man. Just keep on investing and, and putting a small percentage of your stuff into this. If you think you need to put more, then put more. Listen, I'm not trying to persuade you. It's your investment. I'm not a financial advisor by any means. So you do you. You do you. If uh, one of us is wrong, then, hey, at least we got some silver to back up a little bit with us, right? Either I got a little bit of silver or you got a lot of bit of silver, whatever the case may be. I think we'll be all right. Anyways. Uh, you can bake your own bread. That's right. I got to go for now. Really appreciated the live stream. Appreciated all the super chats, um, all the thoughts. I'll have some more information to you about all that crazy stuff going on here in the coming days. And uh, 
Man, I appreciate you guys. Doge to the moon. That's right, left side. Doge to the moon. Never forget it. Spectacular. Appreciates you all. Had a lot of fun. But I got to go. I got to go. I got to eat something. I don't know what's going to be. I'm out.